My name is Crystal, and we're going to be making something called chana masala. And we're also going to be making some baked Brussels sprouts with uh, a different kind of seasoning, a little bit of jerk, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of mushroom seasoning. Hopefully they're good. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the night before you make this dish, you want to soak your chickpeas. And do we all know what chickpeas are? We call mm -hmm. it chana. Where I came yeah, chana from. chickpeas. Mm. But this is them, and I soak them overnight. Um, just make sure that they're covered, okay? So at least eight hours, because they're very, they can be, take a long time to cook if you do not do that. All right. And the next thing you're going to do after you do that, the next morning, you get your pan, and you get out your olive oil. And I do about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And let's see, I just used a, a deep, um, like, a, like kind of a wok pan to, to do this part. I added in, um, I like I like onion a lot, so I added in a, a large onion, but what, how I cut it was like this. We just chopped it very, very thin. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Over here, like this. Okay, and I used a chopper, but you can do it by hand as well. It just takes a lot longer. But I like to do it like that because when, you, um, when you're heating it up and you're caramelizing, basically, it, it kind of... Uh, like kind of kind of does that and it's a golden brown it looks really nice it, it come, the flavor comes out really well all right so we did that and then I stirred in two large tomatoes and I like to do it this size because they don't get I mean you still keep the quality of the nutrients and things like that instead of macerating it or pureeing Any it. Any particular potato, um, tomatoes? You can use normal so ones but I do like Roma. Roma. I okay. really do like Roma yeah. All right. So after you do that, um, and you're going to add in the chana masala, which is this. You can do this by hand with different spices. I'm not that talented. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm just not that patient. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Anyway, we get this you know, in the different stores or whatever. You can find all kinds of uh, flavors, but I like this one. This one is really good. Did, where did you get that? This did one, Uncle, it? where did you get this? You get this so at Indian Sweets mm -hmm. over on 20th mm -hmm. Street West. Mm -hmm. Indian sweets and spices. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you can adjust that to taste. I I, I didn't try to be too heavy-handed today because I didn't know you know people's likes of spicy or not. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I put in um, a teaspoon of uh, this is the pink sea salt that or that Danielle was talking about. It's a little bit more healthy for you. Okay, added that, and I just stirred it for you know five minutes, whatever. Uh, add the chickpeas that have been soaked overnight, um, and then you add about 28 ounces of water. So it, just depending on if you like gravy or not, uh, well, the sauce, if you like sauce, mm -hmm. a lot of sauce, you add more water. If not, then, then you do that. Um, and then for whatever reason, this recipe asks for uh, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I don't know the rhyme or reason to it, but yes. I just did it. it <laughs> guess, I think. But I think that's what it was. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> and then I simmered it for about 45 minutes. Okay, now the end result is this. Now I garnish Beautiful. with um, lemon, onion, cilantro. You garnish with, with whatever you want. It's your own personal taste. So if someone wants to help, we can um, give you a sample of this and see if this is something that you would want to try. And there's, oh, and I'm sorry, I cooked uh, brown basmati rice is underneath. So you have a whole. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do. We're ready. And this is just a very simple, you can use it as an hors d'oeuvre or snack. I, I love it. I don't know why, mm. but I love Brussels sprouts, okay? Mm. So I'm going to dress them. I just cut them in, uh, in threes that, and make them even so that when you put them down, they all be kind of evenly, okay? I made the, um, the dressing out of olive oil. I put a little jerk marinade. I don't know. I'm stuck on that right now because we had some yesterday and it was amazing. Um, pink salt, a little bit, and garlic powder. Okay, and just mix it all up. I'm not probably not going to put all of this in here, but I don't, I don't want to make it too salty. I'm just going to lay it down. And so almost like less is more. If you want some to dress it more later, it's probably better than to make it too heavy. Although, I might need it all. Now, as, as far as the like the chana masala, um, the last time that we did a cooking class, I made something called alu gobi, uh, or even um, a curry vegetable. Mm -hmm. You can use cauliflower and potatoes, and I put peas in it. And it was, I mean, 
very just filling. To add, yeah. yeah, just to add things other than meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give it that so sturdy bold, filling bold, feeling. Bold, yeah. It's more like a stew. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any left when the whole thing was over. So. Yeah, apparently it was. Like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like I said, less is more. I don't want to dress this too much for you guys because I can get a little heavy on the spice. Really good. <laughs> what is that in the bottom? You said is it a jerk? Or? So this is the jerk marinade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, pink salt, and just garlic powder. Okay. I'm just going to put them on the cookie sheet. <laughs> Those are my daughter's favorite Brussels sprouts. Well, that's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Brussels yeah. sprouts. Very good. <laughs> She's like, I haven't, she thought she was going to keep them raw. She's like, I haven't oh, had them raw, yeah. but I'll chase them. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, <laughs> so. Can I just try to get them as flat as possible? Now, I leave, when you cut, you know, you cut Brussels sprouts, the leaves come off. You know, that there's always a little little yeah. bits here that come up. I leave them on there because when I when you cook them, they crisp up and they're like mm -hmm. little chips. Oh, so good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and I we did the, um, today at 400, depending on your oven. I guess you know, just to make them crisp and and, and that should be it. Right, when they come out. <laughs> so hopefully everybody enjoys it. She's going to love it. Let's make her the guest of honor. Yeah. Okay.